Okay, hey everyone, it's me, it's Logan, Login22, whatever you like to call me, I'm here, and I'm remaking, um, an old video that I made called, um, how to record emulator with computer or something like that. Um, I, now, but now I have a mic, which is why I want to make this a lot easier for everyone who didn't understand. I, I had several questions under my comments, so I wanted to fix this. So, first you need to go to campstudio.org slash dev. Um, now everyone who out there who thinks Linux and all that stuff, not Linux, but uh, perhaps and all that stuff is better, I've tried it all. It makes Project 64 and stuff like that lag. High FPS games work better, but Project 64 is just a basic FPS game, so you don't need that much of FPS. So you need to go to Camp Studio 2.5.bin, download it, save, and uh, here it is right here, and for me. But you just save it and extract it. But to extract it, if you don't have a basic extracting thing, you need to go to rarsoft.com. Let's see. Wait, <laughs> rarsoft.com. Go to Downloads. And download whichever one matches your computer. I downloaded that one because I'm on XP or Vista, whichever one you guys use. Now, after you, all you do is click here. Click save, or, yeah, click save if you want to, or you can click run, um, just save it and install it. Next, you need, uh, a, an emulator, so go to google.com, Google Project 64K, and, uh, well, which is what I would Google, because that's what I use all the time. So, first thing, um, there's a link right here, Project 64K 1.3, or 0.13. Just save it, and here it is for me, but it'll come out as it looks like a pile of books after you've installed WinRAR. Just right-click on it. Here, I'll show you right now. Save it like this. See? Okay, it's right here. Right-click, and go to the third one, because that'll extract the right to, um, it'll extract the right to a folder like this one. Okay, and when you're done extracting, you can delete the book one. Now, you need to go to, um, after you have a ROM, you need to go to ROMs.com. That's what I use. You can use any other site, just Google the ROM you're looking for, but I am I like to log in onto this site. You need to register to download ROMs, but it's free, and it's not hard, and they have every single ROM and every single emulator you need. Um... Now, if you need a ROM, I'm downloading Super Smash Brothers because that's my favorite ROM, and uh, I like to save it. Uh, I'm going to save it to my desktop, just like this, and it takes a while to download. So, yeah. Um, now, there's several ROMs. You, that, like every, It has every single type of ROM when you download it. So, I mean, like, every single country. Like, some from Japan, some from Korea, some from China, some from America, some from England, all of them. And, uh, and that's why I like this site, because you can even play the Japanese versions, which I like be better. But anyway, um, all you do is extract it. See? Super Smash Brothers. It's extracting. It's a very big file, so... All you do is do that. Do, 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 do. Eh, okay, it's done. Now, you open up Project 64K, which will be right here, after you've extracted it, of course. If you haven't extracted it yet, then all you'll see is a pile of books. Now, you um, need to set up your... Let me go get rid of all this other, other, all this other crap. Next, um, let me close this too. Um, file. Choose ROM directory. Now, let me go ahead and use the one I just installed, so Super Smash Brothers, And here they all are. Now, I'm going to show you how to run the ROM. All you do, if you want to run an, a ROM by itself, all you do is double-click on it. And there it is. Now, this isn't the full thing because of the auto paint. You know, it, it's most of it. It looks pretty, it, it's pretty simple. Um, if you think it starts out too small, all you have to do is go to Options, Graphics, and there's the windowed resolution, or to go full screen, which I wouldn't suggest in online play. Um, you hit Alt and Enter at the same time. But I like to use this one, and as you can tell, it's so much be it's much 
bigger. But I, I'm going to stick with this one because it, it's much easier to see through my teeny little auto pan. Okay. Start. Um, and as you can see, it works like a charm. Beautiful, right? Okay. The little thing at the bottom that you see that says FPS, that's, um, that's just the speed of it that it's running at. Okay? And that was, that's that. Now you just, it, to end the emulation, all you do is go to File, End Emulation. Now, to play, to play on Netplay, all you do is File, all you gotta do is go to File, Start Netplay. Now, you just enter a username. My inter my username on Kylera, which is what this is called, um, is G. Well, it doesn't matter. Just mostly log in 22. Um, if you ever you'll see you'll see me on Emularena, which is one of the most popular servers in my opinion. Um, and all you do is go to wait. What I do is go to waiting games since I like to find my game. Um, and here's the one I like to go to, Emularena. Um, now, all you do is chat, see, hey everyone, and there we go, and, uh, you can open chat, smashes, just like that, see, and people join, and all you do is hit start game when you've got enough people, you can get one to four people max for a game, and you just run it and play it, simple as that. And that's all there is to it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and that's all I have to say. Thank you for your time. <laughs>